Hello friends and welcome back. Today uh, we start our um, series on Eric Carle. Eric Carle. For the next uh, two weeks we'll be um, reading stories of Eric Carle. And the first story that I chose to read today is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And it says, For My Sister Krista. That's the dedication. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Now, uh, Eric Carle does the, um, the book, both the writing and the pictures. So he wrote the story and he... Um, created the pictures, which are very uh, unique. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. See him right down there? He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. But he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. And on Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. And that night, he had a stomachache. I bet so, with all that food. My goodness. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out. Here's the cocoon. And became a beautiful butterfly. Oh, that is a beautiful butterfly. Look at all those nice colors. The end. That is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time for the next book. Bye now.